Hi, this is Randy from Fried Eggs, and today I want to talk to you about adjusting your new Ping G30 driver. Maybe you bought it online, or you bought it off the rack, but you got it home and you're not quite sure how to make the adjustments on it. I want to go over that with you today. Uh, briefly, I do want to talk about the differences between the three models of G30 that are out there. You have the G30 SF Tech, which stands for Straight Flight Technology. This is for your guy that has the big slice and wants to reduce that left to right movement on the ball, take some spin off of it that way. You also have the LS Tech, which is low spin technology, which would be for your high spin players, guys that launch it really high, have a lot of spin on it, they want to bring the ball flight down, they want to bring their spin rates down. And then your standard G30, uh, it's got turbulators on it, it's not a big deal. Now that we know the difference between the three different models that Ping offers and the G30 driver, I do want to show you how they adjust. Now luckily, they designed a universal tip for all three models, whether it be the TFC 419 shaft or the Tour shaft, it's, it's the same tip that goes into all three models. Uh, on the driver, you're going to have five different settings. You're going to have your circle indication, which tells you the stated loft on the club, that's what it's going to play at, whatever it's stamped on the head. So if it's a nine degree like this one is, that driver is going to play at nine degrees in that circle position. Uh, you also have a, a big plus symbol, a small plus symbol a big minus symbol and a small minus symbol. Each of these indicate a change in loft. The, the big plus is going to be a full degree higher, the big minus a full degree lower. On the smaller plus and minuses they're both going to be 0.6 loft change. Why they went 0.6 instead of 0.5 uh, I have no idea. But that's the way they decided to do it. So you're gonna be able to adjust loft that way. Now like in all cases with drivers, when you raise these driver lofts without any kind of cog system in there, when it's just a static turning of the shaft, when you go higher loft, it's gonna make it a little bit more draw bias. So if you take this nine degree to a 10 degree driver, it's gonna make it a little bit more draw bias. It's gonna close the face just ever so slightly. Vice versa, if you take it down in loft from a 9 to an 8, it's going to make it more fade bias. So keep this in mind and consideration when you're purchasing a driver that if you want to make it a little bit more fade bias, you might want to buy a little higher loft so you can open the face up and still get that nice launch angle that you're looking for. So once you've decided, let's say we want to raise the loft by one degree, we're going to take that big plus symbol, plug it in right underneath the loft arrow there, slide it up till it's snug, put the wrench back in, Give it a couple turns there until it tightens up. Keep going until it clicks. All these wrenches are torque wrenches, so when they get to the maximum pressure, they'll snap like that, and you'll hear the wrench click, and you know that it's as tight as it needs to be. So once you have everything dialed in like that, this baby's ready to go. So once you get your G30 driver dialed in, you can take it out to the course or range and just beat the bejeebers out of it. It's like this. You can change that in post, like, like I hit it really hard right there. You can't? Okay. You see how hard I swung? Yeah, it would have went 300 easily. Yeah. G30 driver's got turbulators, got turbulators, got turbulators. The G30 driver's got turbulators, got turbulators, got turbulators. The G30 driver's got turbulators, got turbulators, got turbulators. The G30 driver's got turbulators, got turbulators. Hit it!